I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Well, actually, what we'll do is the overall energy. Yeah, let's change that to the overall energy. And then we'll take a look and see what's coming up. We'll find out what your challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Pisces, the overall energy. Well, we've got the Hermit. And it's with the Moon card. Now, the Moon card... It's a very interesting card in the tarot. You could feel more psychic, more intuitive than you have felt in a while. So when you get the moon card in a reading, it's important for you to trust your instincts, trust your impressions, even if you don't know where they're coming from. Also, when you get the moon card in a reading, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it will be helpful for you to realize that all is prob probably not what it seems. So, what this is telling me, Pisces, is that you could be feeling like something's not quite right. Yeah, it just keeps it just keeps coming back to you these thoughts and feelings. It could be about a person or maybe a few people in particular. Could be about the people that you work with, maybe it's friends, maybe it's family, or maybe it's just one person in particular, but you feel like this person is holding back. You could be feeling like they're not saying how they really feel. You could feel like this person or these people are wearing a mask when they're around you. You just feel like there's some type of deception. Yeah, and it's causing trust issues. You're not trusting these people because something is just, something is off and you feel it. It's making you want to go into hermit mode. Hermit is the card above the word energy. So you could just be wanting some time to yourself. Just to clear your mind because your instincts are, they're, they're really hitting you sharp. It's making you think like is something really going on behind my back and I'm just... Imagining things or or what? Because your instincts are just, they're just kind of like, they keep tapping you on the shoulder. Trying to let you know something is not quite right. Some things are being said. Maybe about you and you don't, you don't know it. But you're feeling something's not right. So you're, you're just wanting some time alone. The hermit goes into um, a phase where they just want to clear their mind and get rid of some baggage. Friends, family, people that you're normally with, they're not a priority for you at this time. So let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up. So we got the King of Wands and it's with the Knight of Swords. Now, the King of Wands is actually a very caring type of energy, very protective energy. So, it's with the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords rushes in, cuts out. Can can be a warm type of energy. Um, so, this is telling me that you could be finding out that some people that you know, they maybe they've been saying some untruths about you. Um, maybe they, they know things and they've been keeping it from you. Yeah, so you're going to be finding out coming up that people are holding back. 
maybe your friends and family from telling you things that that are important that you need to know and they're not telling you yeah they're holding back they're not being honest with you they're not being upfront and you feel it your instincts like I said that they're tapping on you on your shoulder you could um, be dealing with maybe friends and maybe a family member that could be just telling stories on you. Maybe your co-workers are lying about you just because maybe they don't want to see you get ahead. So it looks like with the Knight of Swords, you could be finding out about this finally. Or you could be realizing that what's going on. So looks like you, you you rush in and you you're ready to cut these people out but because it's a night and and the king of wands is here some of these some of these people you care about and you don't really want to cut them out so you might choose your words wisely because some of these people you don't want to lose King of Wands is a very caring and protective type of energy. And so some of these people you care about, but you're ready to cut them out. So you you could be rushing in with some very harsh words. And for some of you, Pisces, you'll be cutting these people out. Because whenever you see a sword like that, that means you're cutting out. Even though you care about these people. Because what they're saying, or what they, they're doing, it could be making you look bad. Or it's just some lie or some untruth that someone is spreading about you. And you're going in, you're rushing in to cut this person out. So the challenges of the Knight of Pentacles, the card above the word challenge. And then we got the Four of Swords, the card below the word challenge. So yeah, now this this person or these people, like I said, maybe it's friends or family members, they kind of like tread lightly when they're around you. They know that you know now what they did, and they know it wasn't right, so they're treading lightly. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow type of energy, so when they see you, they probably walk real slow or turn the other way or they just cr creep around you like like maybe they should get out the way yeah so you're needing rest after this four of swords is about rest after struggle so for some of these people you probably had a fight with them, Four of Swords, the card below the word challenge. Yes, some of this cutting out was difficult. Because you do have emotions for for a person or maybe some of these people. King of Wands cares. Yeah, whenever they see you now, they tread lightly. They probably, like I said, will be getting out of your way. Yeah, they move slowly now when, they, when they're when around you. So the outcome, Four of Cups, and it's with a Knight of Wands. Now, the Four of Cups, it's telling me that um, one of these people, or maybe all of them, or whoever told the lie about you, whoever was deceptive, they could be reaching out to you. Maybe trying to make things right, but... You're not accepting what they're, they're offering. Four of Cups, the card above the word outcome. No, you refuse to accept their offer. Yeah, see there's four cups there. Um, you're not accepting their offer. And I say this because those three cups at the bottom, they were white, just like the one above her head or next to her head. But now they're black. And what's inside of the cups? Something blue. 
um, what's inside was white, maybe white milkshake. I don't know what that's floating around her head. But now what's inside is blue. So you're feeling blue. You're sad about what happened. And you're sad about what you had to do. You had to cut people out. You couldn't believe they were being deceptive. You knew your instincts were serving you well. And when you found out, you went in for the cut. Yeah, you cut these people out. They're reaching out to you, maybe trying to apologize, but you're not accepting it because you're still feeling blue. You're feeling sad about this. So, for some of you, you're still dealing with these, these people, even though it looks like you had a fallout. And you just need a break from, from this struggle with these people. The Knight of Wands is, is the card below the word outcomes. Knight of Wands is an in and out type of energy. So, this is telling me for the ones that you're choosing to keep in your world, in your circle, you're not into them like you were before. Knight of Wands is in and out. So, you kind of just got one foot in and one foot out with these people. Yeah, you realize you never should have get, given these people your all. They're not to be trusted. So, you're not putting your eggs all into one basket with these people. Not anymore. You're like the Knight of Wands. You're just in and you're out. You're not giving it 100 anymore. Like I said, some of you are dealing with family members who haven't been true to you. Maybe they're co-workers. Maybe it's your significant other, significant other. But they're reaching out to you. Could be an apology. Or they could be wanting forget forgiveness. Or they're trying to make you an offer. But the Four of Cups is the card above the, out, the, uh, the, card above the word outcome. You're not accepting it. Yeah, they, they really hurt you. That's why the cups are black now and what's inside is blue. So Pisces, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below for the extended and also personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong, take good care. I hope you come back to join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, don't forget... I usually do all love readings, but I just threw this in as a bonus read. So if you're looking for a love reading, I have some brand new ones on the homepage of my YouTube channel. So go check those out. Once again, Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.